Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the use of bioinformatics for drug development. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. In this video, we will learn about molecular characterization of targets from discovery to validation and what happens at the preclinical assessment phase. Using bioinformatics, it facilitates in the discovery of drug targets, mechanisms and biomarkers with cutting-edge omics data analysis. What does bioinformatic analysis help drug development? Bioinformatic analysis can greatly speed up the process of identifying drug targets, screening and refining drug candidates, and characterizing side effects and predicting drug resistance. By utilizing high-throughput data like genomic, epigenetic, genome architecture, systromic, transcriptomic, proteomic, and ribosome profiling data, we can gain a deeper understanding of the mechanisms behind drug discovery and repurposing. What characteristics makes a desirable drug of chemicals that can effectively treat a particular disease or condition? This process begins with the diagnosis of a disease with well-characterized symptoms that negatively impact the patient's quality of life. The ideal drug is one that effectively reduces these symptoms without causing severe side effects or negative long-term effects on the patient, society, or environment. Some of the key characteristics of a desirable drug include affordability, profitability for drug companies, low potential for drug resistance, and minimal environmental impact. In order to identify potential drugs, researchers use a variety of techniques, including laboratory testing, animal studies, and clinical trials to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of different compounds. Strategies used by pharmaceutical companies Next-generation sequencing, NGS, and mass spectrometry, MS, are powerful tools that are widely used in the pharmaceutical industry to study the molecular basis of disease and identify potential new drugs. RNA sequencing, proteomics, and other techniques that use NGS and MS can provide detailed insights into the pathways and functions that are altered in disease models and patients, helping researchers to better understand the underlying causes of disease and identify potential targets for drug development. NGS and MS data analysis can be used to support drug development at all stages, from the early discovery phase to clinical trials and post-market surveillance. By providing a more detailed view of the molecular changes that occur in disease, NGS and MS can help to inform the development of new drugs that are more targeted and effective, with fewer side effects. Bioinformatic Analysis Bioinformatics is a field that uses computational tools and techniques to analyze and interpret large amounts of biological data, including data from genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, population genetics, and molecular phylogenetics. In drug discovery, bioinformaticians use high-throughput molecular data to compare symptom carriers, such as patients, animal disease models, and cancer cell lines, with normal controls in order to identify potential targets for drug development. This can involve analyzing patterns of gene expression, identifying changes in protein levels or activity, or identifying genetic variations that may be associated with the disease. By using bioinformatics to analyze and interpret molecular data, researchers can gain a better understanding of the underlying Causes of disease and identify potential new drugs that are more targeted and effective, with fewer side effects. The key objectives of such comparisons are to 1. Connect disease symptoms to genetic mutations, epigenetic modifications, and other environmental factors modulating gene expression. 
to identify drug targets that can either restore cellular function or eliminate malfunctioning cells, example, cancer cells. 3. Predict or refine drug candidates that can act upon the drug target to achieve the desired therapeutic result and minimize side effects, and assess the impact on environmental health and the potential of drug resistance. Basic research into the molecular and cellular biology of a disease is essential for the development of effective new drugs. This type of research helps to identify the underlying causes of disease and identify potential targets for drug development. There are two main approaches to drug discovery, the target-based approach and the phenotypic screening approach. The target-based approach involves identifying a specific target molecule or pathway that is believed to be involved in the disease process and developing a drug that targets this molecule or pathway. This approach is often effective in developing drugs for diseases with relatively simple mechanisms, such as single-gene genetic diseases. However, for diseases with more complex mechanisms, such as multi-gene genetic diseases or cancer, the phenotypic screening approach may be more effective. This approach involves screening large numbers of compounds to identify those that have the desired effect on the disease without necessarily knowing the specific target or mechanism of action. By combining both of these approaches, researchers can more effectively identify and develop new drugs for a wide range of diseases. Target discovery Target-based drug development is a process that begins with the identification of a protein or other biomolecule that is believed to be involved in the disease process and could potentially be targeted for treatment. There are several sources of data that can be used to identify potential targets, including public databases, semi-public databases, and proprietary data from pharmaceutical companies and other organizations. Once a potential target has been identified, researchers can use a variety of techniques to study the target and determine its potential as a therapeutic target. This may involve analyzing the structure and function of the target molecule, identifying its role in the disease process, and testing the effects of drugs that target the molecule in disease models and all clinical trials. If a drug that targets the identified molecule is found to be effective in reducing symptoms and or slowing the progression of the disease, it may be developed further for use. Therapeutic agent. Examples include identifying causative genetic variants in genome-wide association studies or genetic studies of families with a hereditary disease. Identifying genes associated to disease progression events from e.g. tumor RNA sequencing or proteomic data. Identifying genes with disease-specific up or down regulation using patient samples or animal models of a disease. Identifying signaling pathways activated or inhibited in a disease. Target validation. Bioinformatics can contribute to gene expression and drug discovery by formulating an objective and rational index of drug desirability, also known as IDD, in phenotypic screening studies with gene expression profiles as phenotypes. Such an index of drug desirability would complement therapeutic indices based on various pharmacokinetic models for evaluating drug effects and safety under various drug concentrations. The lack of an explicit index of drug desirability may have contributed to the low rate of successful drugs discovered through phenotypic screen. Biomarkers are biological molecules or physiological parameters that are used to measure a specific aspect of an individual's health. They can be used to diagnose or monitor a specific disease or condition or to predict an individual's risk of developing a particular condition. Biomarkers can be classified into several categories based on the type of molecule or parameter that is being measured. For example, genetic biomarkers are based on specific gene sequences or variations, 
while proteomic biomarkers are based on the presence or absence of specific proteins. Cellular biomarkers involve the measurement of characteristics of cells, such as their size or shape, while physiological biomarkers include parameters such as blood pressure or body temperature. In order to identify the most valuable biomarkers, it is often necessary to investigate a broad range of sources, including cellular, proteomic, and genetic data. Validation of biomarkers requires that their levels change in response to a disease, condition, or other parameter in a consistent and statistically significant manner. Identification and characterization of biomarkers can reduce the number of candidate drugs that fail clinical trials, aid in the discovery of more effective therapeutics, and provide methods for monitoring animals in preclinical research and evaluating the response of human participants in clinical trials. A candidate target can be further studied and validated using gene knockout models, in vitro or in vivo. Gene expression analysis of such models may reveal both wanted and unwanted downstream effects of a gene knockout. Preclinical development Preclinical development is a critical phase in the drug development process as it helps to identify the most promising preclinical development is a critical phase in the drug development process as it helps to identify the most promising drug candidates and determine the best way to manufacture and administer them. Preclinical studies are typically conducted using animal models as they allow researchers to assess the safety and effectiveness of a drug before it is tested in humans. These studies help to determine the appropriate dosage and frequency of administration as well as the potential side effects of the drug. Preclinical development also involves the development of manufacturing processes and the selection of the most suitable formulation for the drug. The results of preclinical studies are used to inform the design of clinical trials, which are conducted in humans to further assess the safety and effectiveness of the drug. After a candidate drug has been identified against the target, mechanism of action and off-target analyses can be performed, again using in vitro or in vivo models. Transcriptomics, RNA-seq, proteomics and epigenomics, example, CHIP-seq, ATAC-seq, are particularly applicable high-throughput measurements. Biomarker discovery Biomarkers are essential tools in drug development because they allow researchers to track the effectiveness of a treatment and identify potential side effects early on in the process. They can also help to identify patient populations that are likely to benefit from a particular therapy, which can aid in the development of targeted therapies. Additionally, biomarkers can be used to monitor the long-term safety of a treatment and to confirm its effectiveness in clinical settings. Overall, the use of biomarkers in drug development can help to improve the efficiency and success of the drug development process and ultimately lead to the development of more effective and safe therapies for patients. Candidate biomarkers can be identified already before a clinical trial, from example, biobank data, to identify high-risk patients. Molecular measurements during and after a clinical trial can be used to identify biomarkers for treatment response or side effects, including pharmacogenetic markers. Efficacy biomarkers are another important class of biomarkers that are used to measure the effectiveness of a therapeutic treatment. These markers are used to determine whether a particular treatment is having the desired effect on the patient. Efficacy biomarkers can be used to monitor the progress of a patient's treatment and to make adjustments to the treatment as needed. Examples of efficacy biomarkers include blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and tumor size. Pharmacodynamic biomarkers are another important class of biomarkers that are used to measure the biological effects of a drug. 
These markers can help to determine how a drug is interacting with the body and how it is affecting biological processes. Pharmacodynamic biomarkers can be used to monitor the effectiveness of a treatment and to make adjustments to the treatment as needed. Examples of pharmacodynamic biomarkers include enzyme activity and gene expression. Closing Perspectives Bioinformatics is a data-driven branch of science, with many of the algorithms and databases developed or adapted in response to new types of data. For this reason, bioinformatic tools often lag behind high-throughput data acquisition technologies. However, a large number of molecular biologists, computer scientists and mathematicians have dedicated their extensive effort to develop new and powerful software packages and databases to extend our views of nature, just as microscopes and telescopes extend our views to see patterns that we have never seen before. Taking a close look at this effort by pharmaceutical scientists may prove to be highly beneficial not only to pharmaceutical industry, but also to bioinformatics research community as well.